Hey, doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And uh, yeah, Joe. Many PA Beer Reviews. Brad. Just Brad. From the Instagram <laughs> microwave. Yeah. Um, we are here today. I'm going to bang out a couple of reviews because I just got back from Canada and uh, I have a bunch of beer. So there we go. Uh, first up, one of the best labels I've ever seen on a bottle. Um, just kind of freaking awesome. And it is Omnipolo's Fata Morgana, which is an Imperial Indian Pale Ale, 8% alcohol by volume. And there you go. Um, I have never heard of this brewery. I know nothing about it, other than the fact it is the haziest of hazy that you will ever see in a brown bottle. Like, that's a brown I bottle. It is, I think it's bottle condition, too. I saw the photo. Yeah, it looks like it has a decent, de like you can't really oh. see much going on in there. So, let's see what we got. Started off light when I imperial pale. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what the suckers got. That is neon. Uh, yeah, I mean, really not much any head to speak of. I mean, it's almost dissipated completely. Off way head, what there's left is about, yeah, so much. It looks, um, real, it looks real it, like it looks like a Berliner Weiss. Yeah, I was gonna say like almost like a wit beer or a Berliner. Yeah, but even with even with that, that legs on it though. I mean, you know, even with the the head on it though, it was like real wispy, like real light, like mm -hmm. it wasn't thicker or foam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very like yeah, thin head, not thick, dense yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. let's see what she smells like. That smells delicious. It smells like hops. It smells it's citrus. Yeah, lots of it. And citrus, a little bit of, like fruit peel, like orange peel or yeah. like, lemon. Yeah, peel. you know what? It, it kind of yeah. to just for reference. I think like it has almost the same nose or close to it as as chill wave. Which is one mm. that we've been, to me, this I, is more bit, citrus, more bit. grapefruit, not as mango. Like to me, chill wave is very mango, yeah. very tropical fruit. This is more like just pure citrus. I guess you know. Sorry. Yeah. As long as it tastes good, it's fine. Now. I mean, it smells good. It smells absolutely delicious. It smells like it actually not aged, but it smells like it does have a little time on it. The taste is not as good as the uh, nose. The nose. Yeah, it's a little disappointing of how it smells, and how, it, how it tastes. I actually think it tastes. Think it tastes. Speak correctly. Um, nice. Well, a little bit dry, but yeah, very dry. Um, um, I dig it. I actually like it. It's not blowing me away, but I enjoy it. It's not bad. It's got kind of like a, kind of like an earthy, kind of grassy hop to it. Yeah, yeah, like it's all, I don't. It's not piney, but it has it has that piney kind of hot bite to it. Yeah. Almost dry, not palate smacking dry, but definitely dry. And you know, decent mouthfeel. It's a nice beer. Is it seven ninety nine a bottle of nights? Not so much, but um, I dig it. I'd give it probably an eighty five. Uh, I'd probably go about like C plus B minus okay. personally. Yeah, I would probably go a little bit lower, like 80. Yeah. Um, I kind of, like, what's getting, kind of throwing me off, I don't know, I like when it tastes the same as the nose, like, I would like a little bit more citrus hop in the flavor. Yeah. Like you said, it, it is earthy, like, resin, pine type of hops in it. But, I mean, the mouthfeel is good, like, it's it's not thin, it's, you know, it's a little dry, like you said, but not overly dry. But, no, I, I would like to see a little bit more citrus in it on the palate. What's knocking it down for me... Um, is that kind of harsh bitterness, bitterness in like the back end? Yeah. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling that. It's almost like if you, like if you take your sip, and then if you just swallow after that, like that bitterness st sticks around. Yeah. So yeah. Like you're just getting a second wave of it. It's definitely lingering. Um, I think it drinks pretty easy, even despite that bitterness, and usually I'm pretty harsh when stuff is kind of bitter like that for me, then I'm going to have just blown out my palate over the weekend, and yeah. I can't taste much of anything, so that could possibly be it. But it's not a bad beer. Like I said, 85 didn't blow me away, but at the same time, it's not offensive. It's just, uh, lacking. 
in nope. some form or fashion. There you go. Yeah. That's my review. Label wise, I just love it. I don't know what it is about that that just kind of speaks to me. Do you know if they have like uh, other beers in that line or anything like? I never heard it, of it. Is that like a typical? Because I, I would be interested to see if this is like a tip, if this is like their logo, logo. so to speak. Yeah, uh, maybe just change the color up or something. Yeah, yeah. No it's a cool bottle. I never heard of it. Um, it is. Uh, let's see, it's distributed by Twelve Percent, um, Brooklyn, New York. It's named the brewery, I guess. No, that's Twelve uh, Percent is uh, distributor. No, it's e- Evil Twin. Is that that's his? That's his. Uh, oh, brewed, brewed and bottled by Pub Dog Brewing, uh, Warminster, Maryland, exclusively for Twelve Percent LLC. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's distributed distributed by Twelve Percent. Yeah. That Warminster, that uh, Pub Dog, that's where uh, Stillwater, him and Twelve Percent, like they're all the same. Oh, and it's pre- it is actually pretty fresh. Cause it says Best Buy to um, August two thousand fifteen. So that probably makes it January March. Probably came out in March. Usually yeah. throw six months on them. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not a bad beer. Um, cool label. Yeah, it is what it is, but definitely overpriced. I mean, if I, uh, rating wise, like I give an eighty-five. These guys, he's C plus, B minus. He's B minus. Um, and uh, but I mean, value and availability. I've never seen it before, so availability is a two. Value is a two because it's eight dollars. This is a ten to fourteen dollar four pack here for me. Yeah. So it's you know just overtly overpriced. So there you go. Um, Omnipolo is Fata Morgana. Um, yeah. If you like um, pure citrus with a drying finish and decent mouthfeel, that's the beer for you. Or if you want to try something that looks cool. And it, I think it looks awesome. It looks like grapefruit juice. It tastes like grapefruit juice. Just in beer form. There you go. Yeah. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or didn't, whatever. Comment and all that stuff below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Taps. This guy, uh, Massive Beers and all, all of those places. Oh, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped as well, uh, at NEPA Beer Reviews. Joseph. And Instagram at the general 451 Just cookies and microwaves. Barbecue sauce, yeah. microwaves. And there you go. Yeah. Oh, and NEPA Beer Reviews. Dot See? Forget yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah. He's yeah. not trained anymore. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. Written reviews. A lot of written yeah. reviews show yes. into. So definitely check them out because they're well done. So, yeah. Hopefully, guys, you uh Enjoyed our view. Hopefully, you're enjoying a nice uh, grapefruit-based beer, and hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.